What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what the internet is calling 2022's latest trend. This is the octopus haircut. Now I guess the reason they call it the octopus haircut is because it's got a lot of volume, uh, kind of pops up on the top, gets a little bit sleek and then has some long length to it. Uh, so it kind of has that octopus appearance I guess you could say. Um, but you guys can decide. Let me know in the comments at the end if you like this haircut and if you would wear it I want to know. So here is the deal. Separate it straight down the center and then we separate it uh, front and back at the division point and then we're going to start off in the back guys this is a very very simple haircut uh, we're going to work pie shaped sections i'm going to be using the new matte back scissor from mizutani you can pick that up on our online store shop fse now look vertical section straight down the center back i bring it up i elevate it straight up in the air and i cut my line now that's going to become my guideline the key here is guys to decide how short you want those layers to be for this to really follow the trend you want it to be pretty short in the layering and then i work that line parallel to the floor so now continue those steps, the pie shape sections, bring that guide to the new section. So you want to be over top of your parting. So you'll see as I comb it, I'm going to be over top of the ear, dragging that guideline along with me. That's going to create a traveling guide and also a round shape to these layers as we work through. Now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side until we get to the ear. Notice that I'm now pulling the hair towards myself as opposed to pushing it away from my body, uh, just making sure I'm staying consistent with how. I'm moving that guide throughout this haircut. Now we'll just finish up this side and then we're going to work on the top. So check out those layers guys, bouncing volume everywhere. Uh, nice short layers, but then you got lots of length. I think that's what people are gonna like most about this cut. Uh, again, let me know in the comments what you're thinking about it. Uh, now, here is the front, and I wanted to simplify the front. Now, obviously, when I see a trend on the internet, I think, how would I cut it, not how I've seen other people cut it. So what I did was I created a ponytail on the top of the head. That brings everything together for me. It also stretches the length on the sides. I find my guide in the back, and then I just point cut that entire ponytail off at my desired length. And then that's going to give me the finalized cut in the front. So a very, very simple uh, process going through it. Uh, that's how I like to do haircutting. I like to think what is the easiest way to achieve uh, the desired result. And there we go. So now I'm going to finish it up using a round brush. This is an Ergo uh, round brush. You can pick those up on our online store, Shop FSE. If you're looking for some tools, notice how I kind of twist my wrist out, gives it that kind of octopus leg effect to it. Um, so that's how I wanted to work this through as well. And then in the very back, uh, the way that I blow dry this is I like to smooth it more and not have so much twist and curl to it because I want the length um, around the edges to be as long as possible. And then the, um, the tentacles or whatever, everything on top is what I want to kind of have that movement in the volume. So I give a little more curl to the top, uh, temple up and then temple down hairline. I try to stretch and keep it as long as possible. A ton of volume right here in the crown, uh, same kind of unfolding technique. You'll see how they kind of twist out. And then we're going to blow dry everything forward towards me. That'll give maximum volume on the top and give this haircut kind of its final pop. Then once you get that fringe blown dry, now you're just going to run your hands through it, pop it through. You'll see those layers come to life. Finish it with your favorite hairspray. I'm using a Worked Up by Paul Mitchell. It's one of my favorites. A nice dry hairspray. Gives volume, doesn't wet the hair down. A uh, nice medium hold. And you can really see just the activation of the layers. Doesn't take much effort once you've done uh, that blow dry in there. So you can see the tentacles going everywhere. Uh, the octopus haircut. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and thank you so much for watching.